Do you shower? Do you shave? Do you brush your teeth? Thought so. Well, good thing the sponsor of this video is none other than the Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club has everything you could possibly need to help you look, feel, and smell your best. Finding the best products is hard and unnecessarily expensive, but these guys make it so easy. They have top shelf products that do amazing things, and they are delivered to you on your schedule. Shower products, oral care products, hair products, skin products, butt wipes, and obviously shaving products. Basically, if you have a body, they have you covered. Dollar Shave Club knows that your face deserves only the best. Get everything you'll need for a clean face and a great shave with their new $5 bundle. You'll receive their executive razor handle, a cassette of four razors, a one ounce tube of their Dr. Carver shave butter, and a one ounce tube of their Hawaiian ginger face cleanser. My personal favorite is the face cleanser. The facial cleanser helps keep my face feeling clean and moisturized throughout the day. Not to mention, it smells great. Ever since I first tried this product, it has become a staple in my morning routine. Join the club with one of their shave and face bundles for just $5. After that, the restock box ships regular sized products at a regular price. Get this exclusive deal at dollarshave.com backslash Kaz. Yo, how's it going everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I hope you guys enjoyed that short Dollar Shave Club segment at the beginning of this video. I put a lot of effort into creating that film. So if you guys have the time, please go down in the description below, click that link and check out their products. When you support and buy from Dollar Shave Club, it also helps me create more videos for you guys and I know that's what a lot of you guys want. So please go check them out. Now I know in my last video I spoke a lot about how I was motivated to create more videos, but during that time I was actually going through some personal problems. Fortunately, this month I'm feeling a lot better, I'm feeling a lot more confident, so I will be uploading more videos for you guys. I have a lot of parts lined up for the BRZ and a lot of changes are going to be happening soon, so please stay tuned. I know a lot of you guys come to my channel for my car, but I don't want to be restricted by those boundaries because as a photographer and filmmaker, I kind of want to vlog more about kind of just lifestyle things and my personal life and what's going on. So let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below. We're going to be doing something a little different. It's not going to be strictly about cars, but I will be working on the BRZ later on today. So first things first, let's go ahead and get my daily morning routine started. Alright, so as many of you guys know, um, if you watched my last video, I've actually started going to the gym. One thing that I struggle with most in this whole journey of fitness is gaining weight. So first thing I do in the morning when I wake up is I make breakfast. So my breakfast typically consists of three eggs, some sort of toast or English muffin, and then a banana. And then after this, I have enough food in my body to go to the gym and burn those calories by lifting the weights. Not bad. Now that I got my first meal in, it's time to hit the gym. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, now that I am done with my gym session, first thing I do when I get home, drink my protein. If 
you guys follow me on IG, you know, a couple days ago was my first time meal prepping and it didn't turn out too bad, but the chicken was really dry on the first day I ate it, so I can't imagine how dry it is today. Let's see. Okay, so this is what my meal prep looks like. I have broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots, and then I got some stir-fried chicken that looks especially dry today, and then of course some white rice. Since I know this chicken is going to be really dry and the rice pretty damn dry too, I actually learned a little trick from my mom. And that is, all you gotta do is grab a paper towel and pretty much just cover your rice and the rice is kind of going to absorb the water from the paper towel and hopefully not be as dry. And I think I'm just going to cover the chicken as well because that shit was dry as fuck last time I ate it. Hopefully this works. So go ahead and just cover it up. Bam. And then we can throw it in the microwave. Okay, it is about 12.30 and this is my second meal. Ideally every day I try to get four meals in, sometimes a fifth meal. So the earlier you eat, the more meals you can get in and the more weight you can gain. That's what I'm trying to go for. Okay, give this a shot. Chicken, not as dry. The rice is actually pretty moist. So if you guys don't know about this trick, definitely try it out if you have any leftovers or if you're meal prepping with rice or anything that gets dry. And of course, gotta put some sriracha on this beef. Finished my second meal. Now we can finally get the day started. with the help of my good friend Luke over there. I'm going to be installing some custom switches for my interior. These are pretty tight here. Let me show you guys what it's all about. So these switches actually fit perfectly into this little cubby right here. So we're gonna be installing these switches today. The really cool thing about these is that they have LEDs on the end of each switch. So whenever you turn on any sort of accessory that you wire it to, the LED light will turn on and it's a red light so it matches with the rest of my interior lights. So this good man over here, Sup? Luke is going to be helping me install these switches. So I actually have no purpose for these switches as of right now. So we're just going to put it in, wire it and just have it so like when you flip it the LED light will turn on. Right, since we're at the warehouse, there is a very nice fridge in the corner. Let me show you what's inside. It's Modelo time! Remember, don't drink and drive. I'm not gonna be driving for a while, so... <laughs> Let me give you guys a mock-up of what it's gonna look like. So all you gotta do, there is like a little rubber piece that's in this cubby. All you gotta do is just take it out. And then this... should fit quite snug in here. Look, it looks like it's almost OEM. The thing that we are going to have to do is drill out the back of this cubby so that way we can run the wires through the console and into the battery or whatever accessory you want to wire it to. So initially this video was supposed to be an underglow install but I did not finish the underglow because when it comes to anything that's electrical I'm pretty bad. So I tried doing the underglow, it didn't work out. After that I don't really trust myself doing anything that's electrical related. That's why I have Luke here to help me because I could potentially fuck something up and I don't want to. Everyone needs a Luke in their group. Honestly, I think he's the only guy who actually knows what he's doing. 
<laughs> Everyone else is just YouTube certified, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit that I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. This is how you strip wires. They're too small. <laughs> Never done that before? No. <laughs> but I guess I guess your teeth work as well. Work great. <laughs> so right now, Luke is finding the fuse box and I think he's just gonna run the power to one of the fuses just so we can have these light up that's really all that we're trying to do today can you use any of these since now we have everything wired up thanks again to my boy Luke my switches mm. peep that drip though full disclosure these switches don't do anything yet. They just light up. <laughs> Cheers, Luke. Thank you for helping me today. Mm -hmm. I'll actually hit you up when I have purpose for those switches. Yeah. Alright, so if you guys are interested in purchasing switches like these, I will have the guy's information in the description below. So you can go ahead and contact him, work something out. I think as of right now, he only makes them for the FRSs and the BRZs. If you do have one of those, definitely hit him up because these switches were super easy to install and they sit so damn flush in the cubby that I have. To summarize, I am very impressed by the switches. The amount of time and effort that went into them definitely shows in this guy's work. Um, I'm very happy with this purchase. It wasn't too expensive and probably one of my favorite mods on the car thus far. Although I do not really have a purpose for them yet, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for just installing these, but who doesn't want switches in their car? You know, they're so damn cool and it's just, it's so satisfying to flip. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for being patient. I know my uploads have been very irregular, but I will be uploading a lot more content because I have a lot of things planned for the BRZ, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, click that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.